If you like Mark Wahlberg, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. Wait, was it any one of those names with a Lynn after it? Yes. Oh, I got you, motherfucker. <laughs> I got you. Okay. Brady Lynn, Heather Lynn, Jim. Tammy Lynn. Fuck! We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. The Italian Job, 2003. Getaway car goes right onto the train with us. We need to know exactly how long it's going to take to get from Steve's house to Union Station. The Italian Job is a 2003 heist action thriller film directed by F. Gary Gray and stars Mark Wahlberg, Charlize Theron, Edward Norton, and Jason Statham. After a gang of professional thieves, led by career criminal Charlie Croker, successfully robbed $35 million in bars of gold from a safe held by Italian gangsters in Venice, they are betrayed and left for dead by one of their allies. Seeking revenge, the surviving team members create a smart and devious plan to steal back the gold and get their revenge on the traitor. Stella, how much time we need with the Worthington? Five minutes flat. Don't be cocky, young lady. It's not the same as I'm going to say for the police. Perspiration on your fingertips, your heart's pounding in your ears. All the fun ball game. I appreciate your concern, I'll be fine. Number 9 Three Kings, 1999. Are we shooting? What? Are we shooting people or what? Are we shooting? Three Kings is a 1999 war comedy film, written and directed by David O. Russell, and stars George Clooney. Mark Wahlberg, Ice Cube, and Spike Jones. The Gulf War is over, and three friends and soldiers plan to go home as rich men. Though they plan to leave as three thieves, they stay as heroes witnessing the true horror of war. Knowing that President Bush encouraged Iraq citizens to fight against the suppression of Saddam to see them slaughtered, the three friends are confronted with their humanity in times of violence. Hey, I don't know if I could do this, okay? Hey! I got a family, if I'm gonna shit in a bag for the rest of my life because I got shot after the war was over, that'd be pretty fucking stupid, wouldn't it, Major? Number 8 Deepwater Horizon, 2016 Running a gasoline as a plane lands is not smart. That's flawed thinking. It's hope as a tactic. Deepwater Horizon is a 2016 disaster film directed by Peter Berg and stars Mark Wahlberg, Kurt Russell, John Malkovich, and Gina Rodriguez. Detailing up the horrifying events of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill, when an oil platform released tons of oil into the Gulf of Mexico, initiated by a man-made incident, Deepwater Horizon follows family father Mike Williams who, alongside friends and co-workers, becomes a hero, bravely trying to save his crew and inhabitants of the ocean on a journey that would change everything forever. We want to get bit. That's the plan. Difference is we're ready for that bite. I'm gonna stick my hand in that hole with that monster and hope for the best. Uh-uh, hope ain't a tactic, Doc. Number 7 Shooter, 2007 900 yards, wide spot on the road. On target, on scope. Shooter is a 2007 action thriller film directed by Antoine Fuqua and stars Mark Wahlberg, Michael Pena, Danny Glover, and Kate Mara. Ex-Marine sniper Swagger has grown disillusioned with the U.S. military system, but is asked to collaborate one more time to find a killer trying to assassinate the president. But what he couldn't know, he becomes part of a worldwide conspiracy after he is betrayed and declared enemy of the state. A bloody and thrilling manhunt begins. He's loaded. Altitude, humidity, temperature, accounted for. You gotta take him. Ten seconds. Win max is set up. Take him, take him now. Number six. Patriots Day, 2016. Yeah, that's normal. You gotta murder no one rats. We don't got that problem. Because in this city, when it comes to terrorism, everybody wants to talk. Patriots Day is a 2016 crime drama film directed by Peter Berg and stars Mark Wahlberg, Kevin Bacon, John Goodman, and Michelle Monaghan. Focusing on the Boston Marathon bombing, this thrilling and intense story of a community holding together in the face of one of the greatest modern tragedies in the U.S. follows police sergeant Tommy Saunders in a race against the clock, trying to hunt down the bombers before they strike again. Saunders' story pays tributes to the journey of real-life heroes. You got a lot of people talking, but they're talking about the wrong people. You release the photos of our guys, sit back and listen, trust me. 
You gotta stop letting Boston work for us, I'm telling you. I understand Boston, but I can't just snap my fingers. This decision goes all the way up to the attorney general. Number five. Instant Family, 2018. The little sad looking one with the pigtails. It seems like she's been chained to a radiator half her life. Uh, that's my daughter. The radiator kid? <laughs> what? Instant Family is a 2018 comedy drama film directed by Sean Anders and stars Mark Wahlberg and Rose Byrne. Young couple Ellie and Pete want to have children. Stumbling over the possibility of adoption, they want to start with one child. But what they both wouldn't have thought, they soon find themselves with three kids overnight. Now the young couple is faced with learning the difficulties and challenges of instant family in hilarious ways. I'm so sorry. You don't I'm have to so be sorry. sorry. I'm, I'm really proud of her. And the reason that she's sitting away from others is because she has a family, a very happy family. And I didn't drink a drop when I was pregnant, nor do I have a radiator. Awesome. You should be really proud. I am. Number four. Lone Survivor 2013. How much is an Arabic horse? It's an Arabian horse, dude. How much is an Arabian horse? No less than 15 grand. Marcus Luttrell and his team commenced a mission to capture or kill disreputable Taliban leader Ahmad Shah in late June 2005. Marcus and his team are left to fight for their lives in one of the foremost courageous efforts of contemporary warfare. Lone Survivor is a 2013 American biographical military action film based on the eponymous 2007 nonfiction book by Marcus Luttrell with Patrick Robinson. Written and directed by Peter Berg, the film stars Mark Wahlberg, Taylor Kitsch, Emil Hirsch, and Ben Foster. He's afraid of losing control over his castle. He's having control issues because he's the one who's always made the taste decisions in the family, right? No, she's got great taste. I, I trust her. Well, what mm -hmm. is she like? Number three. The Fighter, 2010. This be my fight, Alice? Huh? Just once? Maybe just this one time, not for Dickie? Huh? The Fighter is a 2010 biographical sports drama film directed by David O. Russell and stars Mark Wahlberg, Christian Bale, Amy Adams, and Melissa Leo. The film is based on the true story of professional boxer Mickey Ward, who tries to escape the shadow of his more famous older boxing half-brother, Dickie Eklund, and get his own shot at greatness. It was nominated for seven Academy Awards and won the awards for Best Supporting Actor for Christian Bale and Best Supporting Actress for Melissa Leo. This is supposed to be my fight. This is my shot at the title. I won't fight. get another one after this. Am I being selfish? No. Am I saying Mickey, Mickey, Mickey? You know what? If I am, I'm sorry. I thought I was fighting for the championship, and I thought you were my mother, too. Number two. The Departed, 2006. Unfortunately, this shithole has more fucking leaks than the Iraqi Navy. Fuck yourself. I'm tired from fucking your wife. How's your mother? Good, she's tired from fucking my father. Martin Scorsese is no less than a genius when it comes to gangster and crime drama films. Released in 2006, The Departed is an official remake of a 2002 Hong Kong movie entitled Infernal Affairs. The movie is remembered for its star cast that included Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, Jack Nicholson, and Mark Wahlberg. The story is about Irish mob boss Francis Costello, who plants Colin Sullivan as a mole within the Massachusetts State Police, and how, simultaneously, the police assign undercover state trooper William Constigan to infiltrate Costello's crew. You're a worker. You rise fast. Like a 12-year-old's dick. Thank you, Sergeant. My pleasure. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Tommy McDonald, Steve Van Buren. They weren't just out here playing for themselves, they played for a city. People of Philadelphia have suffered. You are what they turn to in times like these. You are what gives them hope. It doesn't work. It doesn't the name work. has to have a ski at the end of it, and you just put Brewski at the end of Martina Navratilova. So well, I just thought we were saying funny names. No, no, it has it has to have a ski at the end of it. Otherwise, where's a challenge? You know, if there's no ski at the end of the root word, then we would just be idiots saying nonsense. All right here, Spring Mickey. Hey, there I am. Jim says. Mickey takes out a bottle of carbonic cleaning fluid and suggests we do a little sniffing to get high. <laughs> Number one, Boogie Nights, 1997. You're officially out of limes, Jack. Well, I'll pick up some for you tomorrow, son. Come, 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 come here, darling. I want you to go over there and sit on the couch. 
Boogie Nights is a 1997 period drama film written and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson and stars Mark Wahlberg, Julianne Moore, Burt Reynolds, Don Cheadle, and Heather Graham. Cynical and dark-humored, Boogie Nights follows idealistic porn producer Jack Horner on his way trying to craft an art form. Discovering the young, hot, and talented Eddie Adams, he will soon be famous in the whole country under the name Dirk Diggler. But the fantasy of glamour and fame vanishes when they collide with the cold reality of life. Here we go. Are we gonna fuck? Oh, yes. <sighs> well, wait a minute. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.